I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is July 22nd, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to be adding a wireless QI receiver to my wife's iPhone SE that happens to not have wireless charging. So I'm going to add wireless charging to a phone that doesn't have wireless charging. Okay, I am loving the new QI also apparently pronounced Qi, wireless standard that's coming out on all the, all the smartphones nowadays. I happen to have it on my own phone and I'm using it right now. I got a wireless charger and I'm using it and I like, I like it for the convenience a lot. However, my wife and also my mother-in-law have, my wife has an iPhone SE. My mother-in-law I think has an iPhone 7, one of the big ones, 7 plus, uh, and they just don't have wireless charging. But also, they don't have a need to go get a new phone right now, so it's kind of an inconvenience. So I happen to be poking around because I, I, when I when I bought this wireless charger, I was trying to see what kind of chargers were out there, and I happened upon this. I didn't realize that someone had put together a little add-on that could convert your phone to now use wireless charging, have a little wireless receiver. Now, it's no miracle. It's not about taking your phone apart. Really, all it is at the end of the day, and see this here on Amazon, this is the one I bought. There are several other options out there, but this just happened to be the one I bought, and so we'll experiment with this one and see how well it goes. But all it really is, is you basically take this wireless charger, slap it on the back of your phone, and on the other end, you'll notice, if I can probably find a better picture, it just has the connector. So all it is is plug-in, it's taking your plug-in port. And so the one I bought here is the one that has the lightning charger, which is what is on my my wife's phone. But they also have ones here with a micro USB um, type B, you know. So there's, there's different options out there. So you can probably find one for your phone. But I'm just excited that I can probably hopefully slap this on. And you can see how you just kind of leave it on the back there. Um, but my wife has a case. I think it'll fit in the case. What I am concerned at and people have talked about is my wife does have an... Oh, here, I got right here. My wife does have an Otter Defender Series case. And so this is a little bit thicker case. And so it may or may not work. It may give too much distance. And so I might have issues with the charging. I don't think so. I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully it works. Um, and if it does, then I'll probably get one for my other mother-in-law. So... Having said all that, let's go do the surgery, take this apart, put it on, and see if I can get it to work. Okay, so let me start the surgery here. So I've already powered this guy all the way off, this phone, and let me start taking this case off. So this happens to be an OtterBox Defender Series case. So let me get the uh, rubber around here off. Up there. Okay, and then I have to separate these two sides. Let's see. Just gently lifting. I can probably do this by hand. We'll see. Oh, there we go. By hand. Here we go. And get this phone out. And then what we're going to want to do is this guy, I guess it's got a little sticker on here, remove this strip. So I will remove this strip. I don't know if it's got a little glue on it or not. Oh, I guess it does. Ah, a little bit of glue to stick it on there. And then what I'm going to do, I've got this powered off just to be safer, I guess. All this really is going to do is plug into the back. So I will plug this guy in and then slap this guy on. And I guess it's got a little sticky there to help stick. Now, the one good and bad about this is now it's going to cover up my iPhone symbol, which is fine by me and fine by us, but that's probably just something to take note of. If you have a bigger phone, you're probably okay. Okay, so now let me take that and stick it back in, put it all together, and we will see how, how well this works. I got a feeling it's gonna be pretty good. I, well, the only thing I'm concerned about is the thickness. This otter box is a little thicker than most cases, so that increases the distance between the charger. 
Okay. There we go. Get that on. Yeah, it fits in there, even though it made it a little fatter. And then get this guy back on, and we can try all this out here in a second. So now I've lost my connector. I mean, I can take this apart and unconnect it again. Um, but I think I'll be good. See, so now let me go power this guy back on and see if it'll charge. Okay, uh, one thing I forgot to show was the actual wireless charger I bought. So I bought this Qi charger on Amazon recently because I had this idea of putting this in my desk. And the one I, I wanted to point that out because the one I did buy is a 10 watt versus a lot of them out there are five watts. So I think the 10 watt might have more distance. I'm not sure, but also I wanted to point out the one I got because maybe different ones have different quality and can do different distances. And I just recently bought this for, you know, 21 bucks. So here it is. I'm fiddling with some 3D print stuff to actually make a new base for it, but here it is, it's running. And as we can see right now, my little wireless charger is receiver is kind of sticking up there on the screen, so it looks a little weird, but that's fine by us. But the moment of truth, does it charge? So let's see, let me turn this off. Let's see if I can get it in the right spot. I think I got two. Look at that, it's charging. Let's try to get a better angle on that. So, there we go. I have the little charging symbol and it is charging. So, kick butt, let me do that again. Take it off. It's 90% charge, so, I haven't fiddled with charging a lot. It's my understanding the charge will take a little bit longer because uh, it's it's slowly charging it compared to just plugging it in directly. But boy, this is a big convenience. And I'm excited to let it sit here and charge up. And um, I'm not in the market to buy a new phone, but I really want the wireless charging. And for, you know, what is this? 14 bucks. For 14 bucks, solves my problem. I'm going to let it sit here and charge 100% and hopefully it all goes well. I think it will. Um, I'm pretty stoked. 14 bucks. I got my problem solved and I don't have to go out and spend $700 on a brand new super iPhone. So, woohoo! Thank goodness someone made a way to easily put in a receiver. And thank goodness it's working through this giant, uh, I shouldn't say giant case, but this thicker case. So it's charging. Cool. Uh, anyway, I thought I would share. Really cool. If you have this same need, go out and I, uh, hey, it worked. Go out and buy one and start charging away. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.